welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're gonna do a little weekend vlog. It's my brother's birthday. So we're picking him up in San Diego. He's working in Salinas right now. So he's flying from Northern California to Southern California. And then we're gonna pick him up. We're gonna head to Rosarito to do a little weekend there. Take him to eat in Valle. Um, I got Tia Luchona. Let me show him the gear. Oh yeah, she's decked out. I'm wrapping to it. And her Tia Luchona oh, gear. So if you haven't seen it, cop it. We'll leave the link below. Say hi, Al. Hi. Say hi, puppy. We got him some obnoxious birthday gear. It's his birthday princess and a sash. And then we're gonna have lunch in San Diego at Underbelly Ramen and then head to Rosarito. That's, is that Where's a gem? Um, Ever's not coming with us because there's, neither is Ulysses. Neither is Ulysses um, because we're hosting a course this weekend at the dental office and he's gone all, before you feel sorry for him, he's gone all next week with Ulysses fishing, like Tuesday to Saturdays, Tuesday to Saturday. So I'll be at the office chingandole. chingandole. So don't feel sorry for him. So that's why I took off this weekend and then my mom will be up there and chook. I'm actually really excited because we haven't just like us siblings. been together, yes, siblings. Yeah, yeah, haven't been together in what? It's been a long time. And no, I'm really excited. I'm excited to have Carlos on the vlog. He's, if you think like we're funny, if you oh, even think I'm that, like he's the next funniest. level. He's the funny brother. He's, he's gonna act like he's shy boy at first, but then I hello que se caliente yeah. poquito y vas a ver que se, he's gonna be the camera hog, not me. Probably. He's definitely the funny sibling, but so I'm excited. Hopefully he, he lets his, his true personality show. I'm sure, I'm sure he will. So we'll check back in later. We're just running an errand before we head out, grabbing coffee, and then San Diego's like two and a half hours from us, so we should be there shortly. Oh, we got Teddy too, somewhere in this car. Is he in the car? car? Somewhere, oh, I hope. So we're still on the road. We're like an hour and some change away. We're listening to the new Beyonce album, and we have a, my sister and me have a question. So she's a Virgo. Yeah. She was born premature. Seven like, months. So get their So she was and an I think it shows. She, yeah, it shows that she was preemie, let me tell you. There are some <laughs> developmental issues still okay, but to this day. But they used to drop me constantly when I was little. So not only was I Santa Messina, Ara, I, wa I want to say that's fake news, but it's true. I, like, mean, on I was like 11 and 12, and my mom would be like, watch your sister, I'm going to take a shower. And you know, like, babies, like, you turn around, and they're like three feet, like, have moved. So she, and we only had, we didn't have carpet in my mom's house, so she was constantly falling on the tile and head first. Oh, oh constantly, not uh, on my own, not because she. <laughs> well, you were squirming all the time. Uh, you were supposed to. You were well, under supervision with me. Anyways, okay, so she's the question. If she would be born on her actual due date, she'd be a Leo. No, no, Libra. a Libra, sorry. So she she wants to know for all my astrology peeps that if she was premature, is she actually supposed to be a Libra or a Virgo? Because she doesn't get Virgo vibes. I, okay, there's moments where I get like, I'm such a Virgo. I get Virgo vibes. 100%? Not 100, That's but like, why. there's enough. I mean, nobody's to a T there. Astrology. Say. I think so. I think I was 100% a Scorpio. I think Poppy's 100% a Leo. I'm 100% Aquarius. Aquarius. That's why I'm like, there's moments I have my Rashitas where I'm a Virgo, and there's other moments where I'm like, si soy Libra. But does it work that way? Oh, another thing. Well, leave it in the comments if you guys are astrology experts. Another thing. Yesterday, my sister got her lip filler developed. Um, well, insert dissolve, dissolve. picture right well, insert here. Insert the picture here. God damn. Let me tell you guys my experience with it. First, let me tell them that as the an rundown. injector, the rundown. So she got her lips done a while back ago. I didn't do them. Um, I'm not, I don't do lips. I can do them, but I don't. And so she got them done and they were fine. But with filler, even with an experienced injector, it can migrate, it can encapsulate. There's a lot of things that can happen after and her started migrating up so she started to get that duck and they had given her the look which is I, I mean it's an attractive look with the small split down here but what happened is that it encapsulated on both sides so she had two balls and it was horrendous and this was like migrating so it was fine at the beginning but it just wasn't a good look and she wanted to have it corrected but I think the best way to have lip filler corrected honestly when you have issues like that is to start fresh and get it completely dissolved but it's a very painful, I did warn her, it's a very painful procedure. 
there's a lot of swelling and bruising. Oh, wait, and then you do that and then you let it completely <laughs> heal. I'm telling you the, the medical part of it okay. first because people are gonna hear this and then you can say your experience. Okay. So you get it dissolved, it is painful, it's a liquid that dissolves the filler. Um, it bruises, it swells for a good week. The third day will be the worst. So she had this done yesterday and I warned her about the pain. So now she'll tell you her God experience. Damn. So yes, I got them removed yesterday and I was coming, I'm, I think I'm pretty tolerable with pain. So I come in hot, I'm ready to go. It's not the piquete that hurts, it's whatever the formula. Liquid. Yeah, whatever formula is on that damn syringe. I was crying, like crying, and I was laughing at the same time because I couldn't believe that I was crying. Oh my god. So I got six piquetes abajo and six on top. I'm currently bruised on this side, but the swelling is gone now. And also, if I you're going to do it, start taking, I think, a tablet immediately after and then and, and, and six hours, every six hours for a couple days because that really does help with the swelling. But don't take like a ibuprofen or any of that stuff because it'll make the bruising worse and the swelling worse. So I, I swear by Arnica, you can do actual pomade like on the lips and, doing both. and take it. I And that I really think that helps with the swelling. So it looks better than I thought it would. Tomorrow the bruising will be worse. It's the lipstick because watch, I'll show you when I take off my lipstick, like they look rough. Yeah, but that's her lip all filler in the name experience. Of beauty. So I lip filler, I don't do it for a lot of reasons, but it's not as easy as everybody's making it sound on Instagram. There's a lot of complications. Even with an experienced injector, everybody's body's different. Your lip shape sometimes doesn't have room for the filler. And then you get the duck lips or the sausage lips. So it's an art. Like it, it's different for everybody. The technique is different for everybody. Where they need it is different for everybody. And the million dollar question, I don't have lip filler. I get that question all the time. I think my sister can vouch that I always had big lips. I she used to call me shrimp lips when she was little. I would go like this. She would go like that and copy me. So the barras on my dad's side of the family, everybody has super full lips. Like it's like their trademark. I've gotten hydrating filler and it didn't work for me. I wasn't a fan like when I left. What's hydrating? So I, so when you have natural, this is a good tip to know if somebody has lip filler. It doesn't apply to everybody, but natural full lips are wrinkly. Like I don't know if you can see mine, but they tend to wrinkle. When somebody has fillers, they're smoother. Their lips are like plump and smooth. So because that it just stretched out like the lip tissue. So my lips are very wrinkled and the older I get the more wrinkly they get. So I tried a hydrating filler which doesn't add volume just adds hydration. And then I saw very little like the first I don't know weeks or so I saw a little bit of difference but I honestly think it was just because I was swollen. I didn't it wasn't worth it to me. I've had it done twice the hydrating filler and I had it because I tried a different person. I was like oh maybe it was the technique or the product but it didn't work for me. And I have my best friend who also has naturally full lips. She tried it with somebody else in Phoenix and it didn't work for her. So that's all on my lips. But I do get that question constantly and that's the little good tip to know if someone has lip filler. But she's, so she's waiting for it to dissolve and I think eventually you'll try it again before the wedding. Let's see how they cool down. I don't, I don't think she needs it. She has smaller features. Like she always had a smaller mouth. Like I think it went with her face and she wanted to do but it. But I had none. I have a No, she just had like uh -huh. a little, Nothing. little mouth. But um, but we'll see. Once it, it cools down and we'll just see. So that's our PSA on lip fillers and her experience, her testimonial. <laughs> but it so is, they know that I do warn you guys when you get it dissolved, it is a bit painful. I mean, they can, a bit. They, there's stuff they can do to help, but it, the liquid just hurts. They gave like, me uh, with those stress balls. And at first when she got it to me, I'm like, I don't like this. But you put some on it, I was squeezing it. Squeezing it real hard. Yeah, that's it. Uh, what are you doing back there? Watching your own YouTube. She's what? So, Elsa Big, you, our YouTube number one fan, I think. If a video has 800 views, I'm pretty sure like 750 of them are hell. Yeah, from the, the first Disney vlog. That's your favorite video? Yeah, and I watched it like 5 million times. She does cool. like them. We're almost, well, like an hour away from picking up Carlos. We'll check in once we have him.
So Melissa stocked up for some birth for the birthday boy. Like I said, it's my brother's birthday, the 31st. He's such a He's Leo. He's a Leo. 100%. So we got the birthday starter pack, these little annoying glowy things, the little obnoxious birthday hat. Oh, the cat fell off. We rode on the car. We need to find the cap. And then we have his little birthday crown. Tiara. Tiara for the birthday princess, princesso. So, with some earrings. Because with some clip on earrings, a little sash. I think he's gonna look adorable. How old is Carlos turning 23? 23. Going on 53. So, we're almost to San Diego. We're headed to the airport to pick him up. So, once we have him, we'll check back in. Hopefully, he's not being shy, boy. Belly, underbelly, to go um, to the bathroom. We just walked around. Carlos got me these earrings. They're little Mexican dolls. Do you have anything to say to the people watching you? Um, that I'm so happy my brother's here. I stay my shirt with matcha. Daddy's tired. So we made it to the house in Rosarito. This is our home away from home. I think I've given you guys a tour. I'd say we're finishing up, but not completely. A little sitting lounge area, the kitchen, living room. This is new. That art is from Oliver Gal. Thank you, they gifted it to me. And a few other pieces I need to put up. Betty and Bob pulled down the fort for us. And it's a beautiful, Day today, it's a little warm, but it's much nicer than where we live. Yes. Ha'ish, Manish. Carlos is downstairs using the potty. Um, a poppy room is probably the one that needs the most work. This is all we've got in here. We're gonna do a luchador theme, but we still need some art and some decorative pieces. So downstairs is our bedroom and Al's bedroom. This is Al's Frida Kahlo room. That's finished, all expired, inspired by this painting of little Frida that we got at Fausto Polanco. So she's got a little view to the jacuzzi, little patty area, and down to the ocean. Very colorful, beachy, woodsy, Mexican book collection. And then these, um, yeah, the little Marcos Barbies that they gift us every year. Little collection. No clothes yet. Her bathroom. I love this little painting. She made this when we were in Cabo. A sink. Her shower. My secret hiding. Her secret hiding spot. So this is the only room that's almost done. We've been trying to go slow. I'll show you our bedroom later when we finish a few things. So this is upstairs. Say hi, Carlos. The puppy's paying me like one of his friends. Oh. Hey, family. My mom has arrived. How do you two in your Where's favorite child? child? Where's Chook? We don't there. Let me check. Dile hola a la gente de YouTube. 
a todas las... Puro modelo. Good morning. We went for a little jog on the beach. Went to our favorite coffee spot, Condesa, with my brother. Forgot to take the camera. Teddy got into a fight. He protected my honor with a couple, with a couple boxers. Well, insert the video here. You guys had breakfast at Nani's house? What did you have for breakfast, Al? A beans and tostada. We're about to taste test. What is it, Trader Joe's? Hula Crunch popcorn and rice cracker mix. Ew, mm, I heard this is like a Hawaiian thing, this kind of popcorn. Ew, There's no ew. rice crackers. Okay. Let me see. Wait, guys, the inside of it. Oh Look. It looks like a. Uh, but where are, the, where are these rice crackers? I feel like you got. Oh, here is one. Is that one? Um, you gotta get the full experience. Or maybe it's just the seasoning? Oh. There's like two of them. How is it? Alright, good. Savory. Uh huh. Did you think it was gonna be sweet? Mm hmm. Looks kettle. Mm. Good? Hello, guys. It is the next day. I don't know what my parents have vlogged yet today. Do a fit check. check. This is my fit check. Fit check. We have this dress. Some she stole my sandals. She, I had that dress for her. Let me do your fit check. Target. Dress. <laughs> check. Glasses clear. Puppy fit check. Oh! Get it, get it, get it, get it. Target. Fit check. Last time I wore heels, it was in El Valle. It and was she rolled her ankle. And so. so I want to put it up for the challenge that it was just. I really like those. They gave me Valenciaga vibes. They are. It's Nani's Nani fit check. El Valle no me Get it, Nani's. So we've arrived at our favorite Valle spot, Mistura. I know we're like creatures that have it, but if it's not broke, don't fix it. El Arena. What are you going to order to eat, Elle? What are you gonna eat? I don't know. Happy birthday. Lo contenta que estoy porque para mí mi más grande achievement son los ustedes. No, son ustedes los tres. Me hace muy feliz. Cada quien en diferente manera, pero ustedes son mi felicidad. Yo creo que es un trabajo que me siento más orgullosa. Madre. Love you, mom. We love you, mom. We love you, mom. And we, we love, love you, you Carlos. Too. Happy Gracias. birthday, Carlos. Pero no te escucho YouTube. ¿Qué dijiste? Al final yo dije que José Carlos es para nosotros, para la familia, una parte bien importante. Así lo siento yo y lo digo. Y sé que es cierto. I'm the favorite child in other words. Any words, tú, Linda? Yo. Sí. Well, I want to say happy birthday to my first baby boy. I'm very proud of you because at this young age you're very mature and I'm happy you came this weekend. I just hope that you slow down and enjoy the process and realize how much you've done in a short time. Don't be so hard on and yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself and learn to relax a little and take it all in. And look at him eating his veggies. Look at him, mira. Wait, papi, popping bottles. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I thought that was gonna blow up. <laughs> for the record, Puppy's having coke because we're celebrating, right? Puppy, yes. any words for the birthday boy? I hope he goes hunting with us one day. He goes hunting with us one day. Okay, <laughs> what are you gonna say, Isha? Make it short and sweet. Gemelo, My de cuatro años aparte. I love sharing your physical features. Me encanta que somos cada quien nuestra misma reflexión. And feminina y masculino. Like Linda said, I'm very, very proud of you. People at your age, que andan haciendo. Keep it up. I'm proud of you. I was dancing on tables. I can't wait for you and I to make a team together. 
Wait, I'm still dancing on tables. <laughs> I think that is all I have to say. I'm looking forward to the future. Cheers, brother. What do you want to say, Carlos? I'm very happy that we're all here together today. Um, I don't remember the last time that we were all together like this, so it's no. real nice to, to all share this moment. See. So. Amen. Amen. Al, what are you going to say to the birthday boy? Make it nice and positive. Uh, he feeds people. Yeah, thank you for feeding America. Cheers. Worldwide. Worldwide. Well, we'll leave it there. Oh, you guys, update. <laughs> I'm still wearing. Okay. Hey, I'm gonna get my mother bottle service. There's people over there that are looking at sister. Voy a servir. Tell me when to stop, okay? Okay. Mom, tell me when to stop. <laughs> No, are you serious? Chug it, chug it, chug it. She didn't even tell me to Why stop. Why can't I talk for myself? <laughs> Hermano, tell me when to stop. So, el disque Jumex que hizo nuestro hermano. It's made here in casa. Chardonnay. Hello. Happy birthday to you. Por vida, por vida. <laughs> so we're done eating stuff to a tea. No, Elle, are you full? Tea. Yeah. We had a great time. Yeah. Lots of food. Like always. Lots of laughs. Carlos, did you have a nice birthday? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Do you love us, Carlos? Chuk, te la pasaste bien? What do you say? Bye. Buenos dias, alegría. Bueno, tarde. It's already 12:38. We are on the road, headed back to El Rancho. But first, we're gonna make a pit stop in Tecate. Random, I know. Mágico. So Tecate, our parents used to come to Tecate all the time. I mean, it's still a little tiny town. They even have like a huge lot because they were gonna build something there. But there was nothing in Tecate. Like Tecate was like a halfway point between wherever to Ensenada, Rosarito. But now it's like trendy. And rising. I think Según es pueblo mágico. I don't think it's official. So we're gonna go find the so mágico. We're gonna go, we're gonna in go el search pueblo. for la magia. And Tecate, but we are gonna stop because we heard there's some good like culinary spots and check it out. And you know we like to eat good food, so we'll let you know what we think. You know we forget to bust out the camera, but um, we after we left Mixtura, we headed to Ensenada to the spa. Do you remember the name? It's it's French. It's a complicado. We oui, oui. la bête noire. Can we do I our think I'm saying it right. Yeah, we yes. can do our pit. You want to you want to start, start it? it? Go. Uh, I yeah. think you should start. So my peak of this trip, obviously, if I'm gonna make it a broad one, it's gonna be being with my loved ones, as in my family. We haven't all of us been together like that with no couples in a long time, so that was really nice. But if I had to say like a particular moment with my family, I think when we were giving our speeches to the birthday boy, there was, that was a little pretty moment. My pit, I'm gonna keep it nice here because I don't want to say my pit. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm actually gonna say it because I mean, it, it can be true. Sometimes traveling with family can be stressful from time to time as you all are aware. So there was a little few moments from here and there que todos chocábamos. But hey, it's part of family. Uh -huh, si no te agarras a chingazos from time to time, you ain't family. So that, there was a few pits of those. I'm gonna leave it there. Okay. I think was that when Carlos came and that the grapes were ready at the uh, vineyards. Uh huh. And when I picked out, Carlos was mad and upset <laughs> and like. Jesus, <laughs> okay, well, was like, He was cranky pants? Yeah. Yeah, this uh, Carlos was in a mood. We'll just leave it there. But hey, we've all been there. He's on his period, so no pasa nada. Papi? Papi, what was your favorite part of the trip? Play. Fa uh, your favorite part of the weekend. And your and what didn't you like from this weekend? What play I like? No, you that didn't I like. That I did not like. Uh huh. That the part that I didn't like is that that I see Eggman like on my screen. Oh, okay. <laughs> so my peak was 
was probably picking up Carlos from the airport. Like the energy was fun. Um, I was happy to see him. I was happy that he came this weekend to spend his birthday with us. Because I know it was a sacrifice for him to come over to here. To work. He's like, a, right now he's like in work mode, workaholic. So to get him to like take time off is a thing. So like that was my favorite part. Probably the whole San Diego afternoon because like the energy was good and we were happy. And then my pit is like what you said earlier. So this is like, like real. Like you guys see things on Instagram and it looks all wonderful because we obviously post, it's like a highlight reel. And I love being with my family, it's great. I mean, but families are families, like obviously, especially when you don't live with them anymore. So it's like traveling, you're like, oh, um, you know, everybody has opinions. Everybody has- Especially their, our family. They're different, <laughs> yeah. We all have very strong personalities and everybody has their opinions. We're all moves. main character vibes. So the energy, like it's great, but obviously the, there's a lot of conflict. So, but I think this is part of families. Yeah. There's no such thing as a perfect family. And, and I always say, toma lo bueno, lo bonito, and yeah, like all the bad, so no so pasa nada. that is. We're still gonna head to the Gate, so we'll get a little more content there, and we'll check back in later. Well, update on my lips. This is day three? Or no, four. But they look, what do you guys think? Much better. It is very bruised here. I don't think you can tell because of my lip dick, but. Wow, I'm looking at it right now from the side. No, me It looks much better. Much better. So we made it to Pueblo Magico. Still in search uh, of the magic. And uh huh. I'm I'm coming in with an open heart, but I have yet to feel the magic here. Kiddos, do you feel the magic? I don't. I do not. Um, but this is the restaurant that we are gonna eat at. Se llama Lugar de Nos. So we'll check back in. So we arrived to the restaurant called Lugar de Nos. It's really pretty. It's giving me El Nido vibes um, from Rosarito, but make it girly. So it's really big too. We just took a look at the menu. We're, on the, we're in uh, the waiting area and everything sounds and looks delicious. So we're gonna put it to the test. But I'm gonna give you guys a little tour. Yeah, this is the outdoor waiting area. It's very photo op worthy. So we have this little over here. I'm gonna go back in. Show you guys around. There's my core family. There's the kitchen. We've been seeing all the foods that's been coming out and honestly it looks bomb. Over here. It's a really big restaurant. Look how pretty it is. Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys the especiales. Tostadas de pulpo. Can't really read it. Uh, tacos de alcachofa y betabel. Can't really read it. My eyes are a little tired. <laughs> there you have it.